Hi everyone, here we are back in U Boats. In the Mediterranean, we made it through the Gibraltar Strait last time. It was touch and go, we made it eventually. Uh, and now we can get to enjoy the uh, the campaign that was named Mare Nostrum, yes. The uh, U Boats in the Mediterranean. It wasn't a particularly good place, wasn't a particularly a good hunting ground for the U Boats. No, they did lose a fair few numbers due to the clear seas and. Uh, Numerous aircraft. So here we are, in port, ready to go. Just get the captain to the warehouse. Check all the last bits and bobs up. Uh, we have done a reload and we've been waiting. So what you do when you get your torpedoes in, for example, see we got full torpedoes. You load them in. It says moving or whatever, and then you it will give you a time depending on how much you have. And then up here in the corner will be a, a wait a day, you know, to get the all the tasks done, uh, which we have done. We have. Um, 40 fruit, 40 cheese, and 40 um, canned fish for food. Uh, we've got some ammo for the, the deck gun, 40 um, high explosives, 40 armor piercing, a um, couple of spare parts, or 10 of them to be precise, another five first aid kits. Um, that's all good. That's all good. We'll grab another rebreather. Actually, we'll grab another two. No, it'll only let us have one. Okay, fine. Right, and I think we're good there. See, see, you go. U boat off duty. That'll take three minutes to get that on board. Why? We can skip time by clicking on that. I think we can just speed up time a little bit. Three minutes will go pretty quick. In that time, let's send um, our captain over to the recruiting officer and see the crew members available for us. So let's have a look. Uh, so who do we have? We have an, a leader available, Schultz. We have a radio, Schultz again. <laughs> and we've got Gunter Fischer, the uh, engineer. Now, um, let's have a look. Who do we have already? So we've got our main crew here. So we've got um, Adam, who's our radio guy. Cola, who's our XO. Obviously, Graf is the captain. West and Luis, who are engineers, as our able-bodied men. So we've got um, another radio operator, Shiner, Shiner, even who's um, in HQ. We've got a, le a leader, and we've got Wagner, who's also on the boat. I'm thinking, do we need three engineers, or would two radio and a sonar guy be more useful? I don't know. Either way, I think. As we've got one of each ready for, um, actually no, we don't have an engineer, do we? We don't have an engineer in the um, HQ, so let's let's get the engineer guy, Gunter Fischer. We'll recruit him. Nice, uh, and then we should be able to send him on to HQ. Bein Billy Buda to you as well, my friend. So this is our new leading officer here in the um, La Spezia. Let's go to uh, HQ and see what... Uh, oh, we've already got the KDB under research. We've already got one um, research tree unlocked. So yeah, we can't we can't get another guy working on it yet. We can, we can buy that with um, favours if we get enough um, reputation. So let's have a look at... Our orders. What are our orders in the Mediterranean? Right, so we got sector patrols. Uh, CO, CO, or oh, CP. Um, why is this one... It's the same sector. Why is it more difficult? Because we've got to drive an extra 250 kilometers? We'll go with it. We'll go with it. We'll go to CO. And we'll drive for 250 kilometers in there. Right, that three minutes has passed, so that should be now on board. So, here's yeah, Wagner. Go. Here's our um, third engineer. Let's take yeah, him down to the cabinet, and he can get that rebreather on his uh, himself. Good. And then I want you to come down to the storage unit and grab yourself five spare parts. Excellent. So Larice has got five spare parts and a rebreather. Can West has, well, he's got four spare parts, but that's good. So our engineers are equipped to go and go into you know flooding compartments to fix things straight away. They don't have to go and get any bits and bobs. 
uh, Gary Newman here, or Adam Newman. He's got uh, first aid kits, which is good. Yeah, Cola on. and the captain don't have anything, but they what are we also good. Right. I think... Oh, it's, it's Dietrich Luther who's uh, smoking away. It's not Wolf, but um, there we go. There's the captain on board. Right, let's have a look where we got to go. So we're up here in the um, top of Italy. And we need to get... Where's, where is CP? Down here. Ooh, around the Greek Isles. Nice. And we obviously got to go past Malta. That could be a bit of a, a bit of a problem. Um. Okay. No, no problemo. Let's get there. Let's get going. All right. Let's have a look. How do we get out of this dock? It's a bit tight here, isn't it? Right. So first of all, come straight. Uh, then we're gonna. There we go. Safely out of port. Then we should come over here. I wonder if we hug down the Italian coast, if we can see any um, famous landmarks or something. Can we see, if we go past ne uh, Naples, can we see Vesuvius? Can we come down to Sorrento? Get some limoncella. Oh, lovely. Um, right, let's rock on then and uh, start this journey. For realsies. Right. Off we go, boys. Just imagine there's a brass band playing. I was going to do the Dambusters theme. It's probably not appropriate. <laughs> uh, right. We're away. Hi everyone, welcome back. Oh, it's a dark and rainy, miserable day here in the Mediterranean. Lovely, just what you want. Usually, this is how it is when I go on my holidays in the Mediterranean. Greatest storms for 50 years. You know, beach covered in seaweed. You know, the usual kind of thing that happens when I go on holiday. Um, but no, anyway, regardless of that, we're in here, the Mediterranean. And we're coming down just past uh, Sicily and Malta. Nothing really much to report at the moment. It's been plain sailing. Um, but we've completed our research task, so I thought it'd bring back. The hydrophone is now available, and we can begin our next part of research. So, obviously, we're coming, we're, we're actually working down here. There's nothing recon wise in the Mediterranean we need to do, which is fine. So, I think we go for another technology. And there, there, recon that's a military stash, military stash. Um, T3 torpedoes, ammunition production. Hydrophone, the Balkan uh, T2, that'll be interesting. Improvement toilets, everyone needs improved toilets. Uh, accumulators 1, armoured conning tower. Schnorkel! Let's get the old schnorkel. That'll help us immensely in the uh, in the Mediterranean. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to get the research for the snorkel underway and we're going to continue on. So far, so good. Hopefully, when we get to our patrol zone, we'll start to see some uh, enemy shipping, merchant shipping, and we can uh, s start earning some money, as it were. So I'll see you in a little while. Right, we're just bringing Adam now into the uh, radio room, and we'll report that we've started our oh, HQ transmission. Let's get that decoded, and we'll let them know that we've, uh, we've got 500 points there for starting our patrol. We're now in sector CO, which is grand. What does HQ have to say to us? Ah, wouldn't you know it? An Empire Tower ship. Crucial technology is being loaded on a freighter, Empire Tower. It must be sunk at all costs. Prediction is 33 north, 24 east. Roger Wilco, understood. We'll, um. Anything else? Anything else? Any miscommunications? Have a fruitful 196. Okay. Good, right, so where is this Empire Tower then? Oh, it's ME Convoy, ooh. Well, it's gonna get to port, isn't it? There's no way we're gonna catch that. 
diese Koordinaten setzen. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. We'll head down to the, obviously, probably the port of Alexandria. Um, that's where the, that's obviously a huge naval port. Um, well, a huge port in general. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of traffic in and out of that. If that goes, eh, eh, you failed. Do, do we need to go? Well, surely she's going to come out of port in a bit. And um, we can attack her then. Or do we actually now have to go out of our patrol zone to attack that ship in the harbour? Didn't give us much of a chance, did it? But, um, okay. We'll press on and see what options present themselves. We'll head head that way anyway. We are. If we come along any targets along the way, obviously I'll bring you straight back and we'll get those uh, lined up and um, assessed on the way. So, I'll see you in a few. Welcome back everyone. Right, we're coming up to the port now. Um, I have ordered to go to periscope depth, so they should be submerging. Any second now. Any second now. Don't make me come down there. Submerge! You're getting there slowly. God, it takes forever. Right, so we're coming down here now. Old, um... Is he going to continue? He's going to continue to have his, um, cigarette on the, uh... You're going to have to... You're going to have to stay out there now, Luther, because uh, the hatch is closed and we don't want any more water coming in, okay? So you sit there, hang on to the rail, you'll be fine. Whoa! Hello! They may have spotted us. They may they have spotted us. Did we get any damage from that? Whew. Oi, sunshine. Alduin, get off the um periscope. Alarm! Yeah, we have got some damage, right. Uh Larice, yeah, you fix that. Wagner, you fix that one. Yeah, woo! They know we're coming, boys. They know we're coming. Two leaks on board. Yeah, we've got the engineers working on that straight away. They, they don't need any people, so that's okay. Uh, it's only a minor issue. Uh, how much water's coming in? A little bit of water's coming in. So, Cola, come and switch the old pump on, please. There you go. Periscope's coming down. Good. Pump is on. Let's go to uh, blue running. Uh, blue running is silent running. It allows the um, oxygen, calms the crew down, allows the oxygen to uh, be burnt off at a lo lesser rate. Wagner has almost finished his repair there. Larice too. There goes Larice's repair. And Wagner. Any second. It's always the last bit, isn't it? Finishing off. There we go. Well done, boys. Right. Oh, we are a little bit... Ooh, we are um, scraping the belly on the... Uh... Yeah, we are scraping a little bit. Right. Start the water removal from these um, places, please. Pump is going. Get them working on the bilges. That should be okay. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to panic about, boys. Nothing to panic. See, it's dry back here. Um, we are... We are scraping, I think. Are we scraping? Well, nearly scraping. Yeah, we are pretty low, but that's okay. Let's um, go to one speed, just in case we do reach the bottom. Right. Um, I tell you what, Luther, as you're up there, if you wouldn't mind calling out the depth... Um, that would be grand. You can see how clear the water is here, so it's a bit of a bit of a bit awkward, right? So um, the harbour would appear to be alerted to our presence. Admiral Ozzel came out of light speed too close to them. Okay, so what we need to do—you can see the ships there. So there's obviously a harbour wall there. So if we kind of creep round here, and we'll have a we'll have a look at these ships and see which ones we need to target. 
Ooh, what's this over here? Patrol sector. Oh, yeah, I know that. Right, we're going to start creeping our way this way. And, um... Yeah, there you go. See, silent running, blue lightning, 15% reduction in oxygen usage. So that's really good. Fantastic. Right. Um... Newman, you can probably go, go and go, go grab some rest. We may be needed for some medical stuff. Uh, the beds are above water, so you should be fine there. They are bailing out as we speak. Happy days. Good. Right, we're going to slowly creep towards the harbour. See if we can find that Emperor Tower sinker, and then we'll get back into our patrol log, uh, uh, patrol zone. I don't particularly want to make this a port raid. Wasn't the intention. Um... And the, the port's alert to us anyway, so... Yeah, we'll just have to play this by A. Right, I'll see you in a few. Hi everyone, welcome back. Yes, we're coming up to Periscope uh, level to uh, take a look, see what's going on. Um, you can see the hydrophone, we can, we're plotting out the uh, the course... Uh, sorry, the, um, the port um, sort of layout a little bit. It, the ship should be around here. But obviously that's just an indication of where the port is. Once we get... Um, Let's get the captain onto the periscope. Uh, Cola, uh, you get onto the navigation side. Uh, as soon as he gets on there, this should all sort of become visible to us. Any second. We await it with bated breath. The captain's on there now. Is the... Does the periscope actually get to the... It may not be breaching the top of the water. So go on to the... Um... Oh, can't you go into the, uh, the other periscope? The attack periscope. Yeah, it's just about breaching the, uh, the top of the water, but we don't seem to be able to get any visibility from it. Right, okay. Captain... Um, could you please use the attack periscope instead? We'll get him on the attack scope and um, this should give us a bit of visibility. Right. Here we go. That's better. Attacking a port during the day isn't the best ideas in the world. Detection. Ah, what do we have there? We've got a ship there. Ship there. Right, so we've got the Empire Explorer, Empire Explorer, Empire Explorer, Liberty, Port of Alexandria, Flower Class Corvette. Oh, crap, where's that? Uh, Isles. Oh, God, where are these Corvettes? Right, um... Oh, here they are. Air quality is low. Right, okay. Take my eye off that. Right west. Or uh, Wagner, actually. It's gone to switch the old uh, ventilation on. Yeah, it's getting a bit better now. Good. Uh, thank you, Wagner. Go back to uh, managing the electric engines. Um, so yeah, we're here. What do we got? What do we got? So that is Al Capitain. We've got N1s. So Empire Tower. We've got Empire Explorers. Oh, there's alarms going around. Right. Okay then. Um, let's have a look. So this is dead ahead. What do we have here? We have a ship here. Can we... There we go. That's not the one... That's not the ones we want. Where are these... Emp it doesn't appear to be an Empire Tower he here. Which is... Not the best. Yes, sir. Right, okay. Um... I think we've been shot at.
Maybe not. It's just a clunk of something. Right, so this is where... Over there is where the um, Corvettes are. What's that in there? Oh, it's an N1. N1, N1, or NA1, should I say. We've got a Liberty there, Empire there. Right, I think we have a look at these these ships here. And, uh, yeah, I think that ship may have uh, missed us all. Maybe we weren't supposed to um, come to that convoy. Maybe it's still around in our patrol sectors, maybe. Who knows? But what we'll do is we'll target the... We'll target the Liberty. Um, get Adam Newman to... Uh... Captain's gone to bed. Captain, I know you're tired, but really, this is not the time. Just hold yourself in there. Get on there, and uh, we'll get that done. Right, Adam, you can have a guy. Um, yeah, okay, so this target... Torpedo course berechnen. The hydrophone's not doing it, apparently. So, okay. Right, we get the captain. Oh, we can't. He's bugged out because obviously the um the guy is having a smoke on the <laughs> on the uh, conning tower. So, uh, yeah. Empire explorers. Yeah, it's Empire explorers. Right, we're gonna get this plotted. See if we can have a shot of this. Obviously, this sometimes does bug out around there. So we can have a shot of these two. Maybe a shot of this one here. Then we'll we'll make a way out, I think, because um, our target's not here. Okay, so we've got the speed, obviously, the um, the course and the distance all plotted in by the captain, um, which is all fine and dandy. Uh, let's have a look at the torpedoes. What have we got? Oh, they're pre preheating the rear torpedo at the moment, which is not the... the Best. It's not ideal. Um, I suppose, Luis, if you could come and um, oh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get him to warm up the um, yeah, warm up tube one, please. Good. Uh, we've got Cola now on the observation periscope, doing a plot for the second um, target, which is the one down here. Uh, so we go and check our old Cola. It's on the observation one. Uh, oh, that didn't work. Apparently, that's better. There you go. Um, okay, apparently observation periscope doesn't quite breach the uh, the waves, so that's pretty useless. So, um, I'm not sure how quite how he's gonna Copy do in. that. Let's just have a look. Is he actually? Plotting that at all? No, he's he's given up, is he? I don't blame him, but I did give you an order. So get back on there and see what you can do. We can't get that one done yet. Okay, um, let's say that may not come to anything because he can't see anything. But um, the Liberty here that is ready to go. As soon as we have a torpedo, then. Uh, we will fire. Tube one is preheated. Let's get that flooded. Tube one is ready. Launch. Torpedo one away. Forty seconds. There we go. We got a gun there. Do some plotting to see if there's any guns in the harbour, so we can. Whoa! What happened there? Is that the ship there? Twenty seconds. Let's go back and have a look to make sure we do get the. Uh... Here she is, the Liberty ship, right in here. Fingers crossed, we get a good Trevor. Uh, 
Der Aal ging daneben, Herr Kaloy. It's a miss. Where's he... Why is he going up there? What the actual? Uh... What? What the hell is going on? 3.30 was the course that should have gone down, which is... There. Well, it should have been slightly off, actually, but... My god, this game, what is wrong with it? Wait for the fanboys going, Ah, it's actually you, yes, if you'd have done it slightly differently. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, boys. Uh, right, 327, we'll plot that in there. D I don't know. I don't know anymore. Um, so what is this? This is an empire, this is liberty, isn't it? recognize that <laughs> I just uh, I don't know why we, we don't even need to do that she's doing zero knots we know that um, uh, and let's get the range so probably that's the best one to do right set oh sorry let's try that again There we go, nine cables apparently. Right. I've plotted this. Let's get um, Torpedo Tube 2 warmed up and then I'll fire. And if this goes off at a jaunty angle again, we're going to give up and go back to the patrol because this is nonsense. We, we saw this previously in Port Raid. So there's obviously something around the logic around ports which causes issues with um, firing at stationary ships. Speed up time, get this um, tube 2 warmed up. There we go. Let's get that flooded. Fire. Right, where, where's this torpedo going is the answer. Oh, it seems to be going roughly in the right direction. Okay, there's hope yet. It's a Trevor with minimal damage. Blimey, they go mental. Listen to all the alarms. Woo! Okay. Let's get a second torpedo warmed up. Oh, they're loading too. Hang on. Let's get rid of that for a second. Right, if he's loading, he'll need some support. He obviously doesn't need it if he's get him and some guys as well. Right. Whew. Good. So this, this is going to reload torpedo tube two. There you go. See it going in now, and then obviously going to pre-heat uh, it, which is good. And then we can fire grand. I don't know what the hell was going on that oh, first torpedo. Laden. You know, because the settings the captain had set were fine. They, they weren't too much different from what I set, but the fact that they went off at such an angle, it's Either that was a rogue torpedo, gyro compass thing in the torpedo, whatever they have, uh, or that was just a, a weird thing in the, the game's logic. Why did you spring that torpedo out? Are you preheating it? Okay. That's good. All right, we'll just wait for them to preheat it and then uh, see if that... Um, the captain's gone to bed. Right, hot collar. Oh, Cola, you go onto the attack um, scope then and we'll do it through you. The captain's tired. He's gone to bed. Fair enough. He said, my work's done. I call Trevor. I'm heading to bed. Fine. Fine. That's absolutely fine. Right, let's have a look at Carola then. What is with you and having your periscopes under the water? There we go. 
so there is the Liberty she's still afloat um, she has moved a little bit actually because we, we were firing at 27 which is about about there so if we change that to 330 that should be good preheating 3 Three is preheated. Let's get that flooded then. Fire! Now I'd like to think this torpedo has gone straight as well, but I've got. Oh, that was that. Hey, that, I think that was it there. Okay, I think that's going to target. I think we're in. We're in a bit of luck. It seems to be working again. probably the best as soon as we get a bit of the ship in. Right, give us a countdown boys. Why am I not getting a torpedo countdown boys? Is it because I'm now the XO? And he was the one giving the countdown. Fair enough. I hope that's the case. Der torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. Ah. 40 Sekunden bis torpedo einschlag. Kyle has decided to just talk to himself anyway. Good. <laughs> 30 Happy Sekunden. Days. 30 seconds. Trevor! Trevor! Fire on board! Okay, her health is d diminishing a little bit. Quite a bit, actually. Fingers crossed she'll be sinking into the harbour. I was going to say beneath the waves, but it's not very deep in the harbour, so she may or may not sink. Right, while she burns, we might want to target the other ship and see if we can send a uh, new contact unknown group. Right, I'm just going to break away to check out what that is. Is it coming? Well, there goes our rogue torpedo. Uh, where's this unknown group coming from? No, I don't see it. Okay, that Liberty's in, in bother. Captain. Captain, right. Um, she's still burning away, so we'll leave her for a second. We'll target on this one here. Similar to an Empire Explorer. Okay, grand. So we'll, we'll get an M Empire Explorer then. Empire Bell, Empire Tower, Empire Explorer. Boom. Right. Where's her? Whoa, hello. Bit of lag on there. Right, let's get the old stad meter then. And, oop, wrong way. Get that to there. Set that. She's one nautical mile. Okay. Um. That's zero. Angle is five three 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 seven. Three three eight, I should say. Right, when torpedo tube four is ready to go, I think we'll all fire away. Fire away. Right, four is loaded. Let's get it flooded. Fire when ready. Trevor! Minimal damage though. Good news is the Liberty has sunk, so that's that's grand. Um, Echoloin. Right, so that's got minimal damage. We might send another torpedo her way. The Liberty has sunk beneath the... Uh, well, she sunk. <laughs> Nothing more to say. 
When torpedo tube... Oh, they're reloading. We need to get these preheated, really. So we can get them done. Okay, four's been reheated. Uh, preheated, not reheated. <laughs> it's not a microwave meal. Right, we'll get that flooded and we'll fire one more time at this ship. Uh, maybe we will we can change the angle a little bit. Uh, um, 336. Just so we put a, a hole next to it and hopefully they fill, they come together to create one big fu one big hole. Torpedo away. Get the boys to reload that. Okay, here she is. She's sitting a little bit heavier in the water. You can see she's got a couple of jeeps on the front there. The Liberty sinking behind her. Hopefully we get a good Trevor in a second. And that one should finish her off as well. Here we go. Trevor! She's on fire, which is the, one of the key things. Excellent. Excellent! Right, yes, she's burning away. You can see her health is dropping. Sweet, right. Um, what do we have elsewhere? Oh, we've got something there. Let's target that. Can't quite see what that is. It's uh, sm similar to an Empire Explorer, okay. Thank you for the help. Yeah, let's zoom in a bit so we can get the uh, the range done. Let's move that to the side so I can actually see where the top of the mast is. There we go. Set that. Um, she's doing zero knots, of course. And we'll fire a torpedo bang there, which is a hundred. Sorry, which is uh, is fifteen. Boom. Waiting for the torpedoes to be preheated. And we'll get another one away. And hopefully by the time that one hits, the other ship would have succumbed to the burning decks. Okay, tube 4 has been preheated. Lovely. Fire. Now, we, we sometimes have seen this where torpedoes do go off at jaunty angles. Oh no, this one's going... Maybe it's just if you, if, if you manually correct it, maybe it's okay. Because this one seems to be going okay. The Empire Explorer has sunk, which is great news. Sweet. And that torpedo is on course. Here's an interesting development. That ship seems to be submerged as it is. Uh, you see the two burning wrecks behind? This is the ship we just targeted. I thought it was sitting a little bit low in the water. I was thinking, that's difficult to see. I just thought it was like a horizontal perspective type thing. But no, it's actually... <laughs> it's submerged. Maybe they've had a an issue on board and uh, she's there waiting to be recovered. But if we... Um, put a hole in her hopefully then she'll be uh, beyond recovery how bizarre here we go oh she's above water now oh there go the lifeboats ah, that's an interesting one isn't it she's on fire though which is good news so that ship is actually moving slightly we've actually freed her from a her uh, her ropes and um, she's actually slipped her moorings and is um, wondering. Oh, she's hit the the key side now, but she looks like she's sinking. Lovely, happy days, happy days, happy days. Pop! I think she sunk. She's just sunk. Lovely. Right, we've got one more over here. She's still heading twenty seven ish, which is okay. Similar to an Empire Explorer. Oh, bless our guys giving us all these uh, recon hints. Right, this one is above water, so that's good. Um, zoom in a little bit. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's, no, that one looks slightly below the waterline as well, doesn't it? What is going on? Right. It's the old stadometer then. Get that to the top, where the top of the mast is about there. Nine cables. 
Uh, you don't need to do that. Click on that just out of um, habit rather than anything else. So that's probably about 27, 28. We'll go 28. How are we doing the old torpedoes? It's always tube four we seem to be waiting for. They don't seem to be wanting to warm the others up, but that's fine. That's fine. So we get these three ships, and I think we'll get back to our patrol zone, to be fair. Right, tube four is reloaded. Or being pre-warmed, should I say. Right. Loss! Yes, another sunken ship. Maybe this is a clever camouflage technique that the British are deploying to try and hide our ships. Or hide their ships from us, but um, from our forces. But I, I don't think it's really paying off. Um, we got a torpedo coming in. It's not a great angle, actually. Fingers crossed we get a Trevor. Yes. She's now above the water. Nice. What would you think? Was that good, Trevor? Fire on deck, yeah. Health is dropping. Excellent. Excellent. Right. I think we've done a grand job today, boys. There is... What's that? Is that a Liberty? No, it's an NA1. Okay. Right. I think what we were looking for isn't here. So we are going to go head back. We've had a bit of a play there. We're going to head back to our patrol zone and see if we can find this ship that we're looking for. Uh, the guys are getting pretty worn, out, worn out now, so um, we'll get some of these guys rested. You're gonna have to reload that on your own, Larice. So you okay with that? You are an officer after all, and you're on better pay, so that's just about grand, right? Uh, Cola, there is some wreckage, but hell, I'm not going to um, start sifting through the wreckage when we're in some uh, in port with guns and we've got corvettes here as well, right? And we know from attacking Scapa Flow that stationary corvettes and ships, warships, can become active instantly. So, um, yeah, and she's slipped among the waves as well. Excellent. Right. Okay. Newman, play us some tunes. Get on the radio, sunshine, and we'll call this one in. Oh, we better actually get going, but anyway, yeah, that'd be useful. Right. Let's report all this sunk for a hundred thousand. Bam. That was easy money, wasn't it? Right. We're going to go back to the patrol sector and see what's uh, happening. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, then. Right. Okay, so we're back in our patrol sector and we have actually completed the requirements for our patrol. We have not come across that um, Empire Tower. I think she's, well, she's no longer showing that she's in port. Uh, maybe because the patrol is, has been completed. But, um, yeah, uh, what we'll probably do is head back to base, um, see if we can get an upgrade or two, and um, how long has that got? Four days. Well, maybe we'll stay stay out here a little bit longer, uh, and we'll wait till that research gets completed, and then we'll go back and get some, um, some uh, new torpedoes, some upgrades, and uh, some all... Uh, actually, before I say that... Let me just consult the uh, the galley. See how much food we've got. Okay, we've got we ain't got quite a bit of food. That's okay. Okay, yeah. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna stay out here. Um, oh, look at that! We're gonna stay out here. Um, wait until uh, the research has been completed. Oh, the sun's just popped below the horizon. Uh, and then we're going to head back to base, get some upgrades, resupply, and we're going to see if we can buy some favours and uh, and whatnot and see what happens. But for now, we're going to leave it there. Thank you ever so much for joining on this week's uh, video of U-Boat. Uh, good good patrol. We hit the harbour. It's a bit of rogueness to one of our torpedoes, but everything else seemed to pay, uh, play the game correctly. Um, yeah, we're going to leave it there. Thanks so much. If you enjoyed it, as always, hit the, smash that like button. And I will see you next time. Take care.